we've had about three days of sunshine and quite a bit of wind and the ground is nowhere close to dry but we intend on making it dry thirsty morning or maybe you're having a good thirsty morning i'm not i am ripping up some corn and we are replanting it whoever says farming is the most enjoyable occupation in the world they are full of shit. Look at that. Hydraulical everywhere. I mean, it's not the most enjoyable occupation. You have got to be a touch crazy in the head to farm. Because no sane man would put up with the amount of that farmers have to put up with. dirty it didn't get cleaned up and it was just a tack sticky when we finished up but gotta adjust them cups right there just them grease that um, last fall we had one of these closing arms fall off and we didn't know it but when we went to spray the nitrogen we found the arm there it is but uh, we didn't find the spring. We didn't find the uh, adjustment handle or the bolt and the nut. So Tennessee Tractor's got that. Uh, but they didn't have the nut. They had the spring and the bolt, but they didn't have the nut. And that's a funky type nut. But uh, this is supposed to be in at 8 o'clock in the morning. Where there's a wheel, there's a way. Uh, I got to digging in the boat bin and found this boat right here that was long enough to go through it So I just went to John Deere and got the spring and put that boat in there and timed her down and That's fixed so we don't have to wait till tomorrow It's a John Deere OEM Probably not but it's Joyce OEM Joyce rigged All I gotta do is check the tire pressure and fill this thing up with seed and it is well we got to hook it to the 4650 and put the monitor in it dylan's still got it do all in, but we're going to put the monitor old planter monitor in the 50 and use it to drill beans because it's got a better gps than that one so right now i'm fixing to set my gate here so uh, we're planning to, hunt, planning to plant 160,000. And these Pioneer P48A60Xs are 3,011 seeds per pound. So you take 160,000 divided by 3,011. 53 pounds. So you look on your chart here. Soybeans or navy beans, 53 pounds. We want to be 
between 12 and 16 so about 14 and that ain't your exact settings because you'll have to dial it in because sometimes this drill uh it ain't the easiest to set but that'll give you a rough that'll give you a starting point and you can adjust either open or down according to what your monitor is saying but we'll go down here and put her on 14. so it's sitting on 35 we just take it put her up there there's 15. Put it notch. there's 14. and i already adjusted your feed cup stays in the top position but just pull that little tab and you can adjust them up and down if you got bigger beans set above 25 or below 2500 cs per pound you'll have to put it in that bottom notch but since we got 3,000 pounds above 2500 we'll have to run them in that medium spot but other than that i gotta grease it and oil the chains and it'll be ready to rock and roll so i finally got the drill hooked up to the 50 got the monitor in here i'll show you there she is the old vanguard vm 2600 and then i'm using the old outback 360 s light for guidance and this will be flat and rig for drilling soybeans or drilling the rest of the soybeans i'm sure when we get the wheat beans we'll put it on the planting tractor but right now i'm fixing to load up my 10 bags of lg 4845s soybeans that i'm going to put on my rented farm load them up and i haven't decided if i'm going to take it to the farm tonight or not i guess it depends on what the daylight looks like when i get done loading up but I got to get them down and get them loaded. Planting first thing this morning. Uh, well, hell, I'll tell you about it in a minute. So, so instead of going and planting first thing this morning like I originally planned on doing, I am going to go co op and fill the water trailer up with water and we are going to go spray some corn I got about uh -oh. hello yeah So it's not like the room Q then. But anyways, I'm gonna go do some spraying. I got some replant ground that needs worked up. It's got some, got some poana on it. Poana is a weed, a pain in my butt type of weed. We have lots of trouble with it on the low ground. I'm gonna spray it. 50, 60 acres of corn, 
and then I'm gonna go get on the planter and go to replanting and then when I get done replanting I got to run some PTO ditches and when I get done running PTO ditches I got to change the bearing on the duo when I change the bearing on the duo I got to go start airing ground and I would say ripping up replanting ripping up corn to replant but there ain't nothing there not a single kernel come up tear it the old coop to get some water Let's go in here and visit with the co-op over. beans that we have drilled this year we've got a hundred and twenty acres of beans we planted them on 30 inch rows just cause we was in the area and it was easy to swap the planter 
it was easier to swap the planter over and plant that 120 acre of beans while we was over there than it was to drag the drill all the way over there. But we done some digging and checking on his beans. He was a little worried they was too deep. So we worked on that. shop with the water wagon maybe he'll get his beans planted today I don't know when he gets them planted I don't know if he'll keep planting or hold up or what I actually like less having all my beans planted than I do corn Oh well. Nobody ever watches the spraying videos anyways. They normally get about half the views of what the other videos get, so I guess we're just living more bad. Okie dokie, shut the sprayer off. Let's go get on. Let's go get on the tractor and planter and plant some corn. So as we're coming along through here, you see all these dark spots in the field? Those are springs. All this ground down, down this creek here is loaded up with springs. This is the field we are replanting. And man, it's just stayed up with springs. That's the reason I didn't come down here and plant this last night because of all them springs. But we're getting some work done here. In these wet areas, I'm really turning the seed up. I can sure we got the plants down there plus I can make it yield a little better. I mean this it's definitely got the moisture to handle. But well, we're planting along here, getting something done at the moment, so I will check back in with y'all all shortly. Right here, I'll show y'all some more of them. There's a great big one over there. See the green grassy area in the distance. That one right there is small, but it has absolutely no bottom. You'll lose a, you will lose a front tractor wheel off in it. There's another great big one. So that's a lot of the reason I worked it. I know tilled it the first time, but with all them springs, it's all right. If it stays dry, but when it rains for two weeks straight, like it's done on us this year, that's when you have the trouble because not only do you have the water leaking out of the springs, you 
you have the you have the rainwater too, and that's what got us. Well, we have suffered a minor setback, but that's okay. We have it. The situation under control. As you can tell, it's been muddy where we've been planting, running through all in the spring. But uh, I broke the, I lost the depth stop somewhere. Got the nose in one, one row looked different than the other. It was plowing deeper. I thought, ooh, that ain't good. Be sure to get my socket where I don't lose it. I'll have to adjust them threaded that bush and they don't screw back in. See if they don't stop where it was. It clogs and well should lightly, lightly rub the disc opener. We should be back in business. Let's go try this one more time. I don't have to do better on my YouTubing, guys. I got that part changed out. Run off, forgot the camera. I'm gonna be honest with you. When we're in the field, like this, blowing and going, I just ain't really worried about YouTube. A little YouTube I check I get, that's my, that's my playing, that's my playing money. But this crop that you make your living on, that's a little different story. try to get as much of it as I can but boy when I get when I get getting this crop in the ground on my mind YouTube kind of gets forgot hello okay I'll be up there in a minute Watching you, hey, good eating size. Mm -hmm. And you caught it on a lure. Mm -hmm. I actually had one when I first got here and it let go, so. 
I didn't get him. Oh, I got him. Why don't you catch about 10, 15 more of them? I'm gonna try. They're moving, they're moving. You can see, you can tell the ripples by the ripples what they are. I threw it in and I saw Ripple chase after it. That's what I did. I didn't let him go. Well, catch is a mess. <laughs> I'm going to work. Can't everybody have, can't everybody have fun like you, Michelle?